Do you know that in response to the shortage in Australia, a school principal has called for teaching to be added to the list of approved agricultural industries for visas? The principal of Australia School, Mr. Hilditch is struggling to keep casual relief teachers at the school, due to a severe shortage of qualified teaching staff. Expressing his concern, he said that this is the most challenging situation he has faced. Meanwhile, the school has advertised for 11 positions, but has not received any applicants yet. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, A2Z Immigration Updates. Despite the significant shortage of teachers, Ms. Keating expressed disappointment that the regional teaching qualifications were not recognized, despite efforts made by the agency and two migration agents. Ms. Keating feels that it is a waste of resources since she is now facing the prospect of entering a profession she knows nothing about, despite being willing to help with the shortage of teachers. She is concerned about the impact that further disruptions would have on students who have already been affected by the pandemic. She believes that there is a teacher pandemic, and students are suffering because of the shortage. Helen Haynes, member for Indy, supports Mr. Hilditch's call for regional teaching to be recognized under the Agricultural Industries Worklist. She has reached out to Minister for Immigration Andrew Giles and requested a meeting with Education Minister Jason Clare. Dr. Haynes wants to draw attention to the challenges of recruiting and retaining teachers in regional areas like Wodonga, which are exacerbated by a lack of housing and childcare options. Dr. Haynes suggests that the federal government consider including teaching as one of the areas where they provide incentives to encourage professionals to work in regional areas, such as the Help for Rural Doctors and Nurse Practitioners Initiative. The HELP initiative enables eligible doctors and nurses to reduce their outstanding HELP debt by living and working in a regional or remote location for a specified period. Dr. Haynes believes that teaching should be one of the areas where the government should provide incentives to attract and retain teachers who come to work in rural and regional areas. The Department of Home Affairs spokesperson stated that the department does not comment on individual cases. According to them, the specified work requirement was introduced in 2005 to address chronic and severe labor shortages, particularly in Australia's major agricultural regions. The spokesperson indicated that there are skilled visas available for employers to sponsor full-time teachers. The spokesperson said that Immigration Minister Andrew Giles would soon be considering any newly recommended reforms from the annual review of the Working Holidaymaker program. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.